We in the trenches, we in zombie land, zombie land, Kensington to be exact though, Kensington. I was 15 years old when I did my first robbery. We throw that shit. We throw that shit. But we shot them, but we take care of ourselves. When they all got died, I'm sleeping, shall wake up to this phone call, bro. When I get on a FaceTime, bro, it's my little cousin, like, stretched out in the camera. Oh my God, you. Today, we're going to take a trip on the Magic School Bus. We're going to go to the most dangerous hoods in Philadelphia. Grab your popcorn, buckle your seatbelts, and get ready for a tour. We're going to Philadelphia. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me, man. I'm just high as hell tweaking. We finna get it bossing. I didn't see people dead. I didn't see people dead. Just laid out dead for. I didn't see somebody dead for days and nobody ever knew. They just thought, thought they, they was high. high. Yeah. <laughs> used to murder. Thought they was high. It was something, but now it's nothing. It's like now everybody knows it's like you're gonna die regardless. So it's like murder is just like that natural. I'm too yeah. deep in this now. Like I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life behind this shit. Being in this not that real now. Oh, no, no, not me. Look over your shoulder. Uh, you see what's over my shoulder, though. It's not. You don't want to look over this shoulder the wrong way. Every time I hop a boy on the beat, seem like a murder happened. My n blasting, hit hard like them crack addicts. Bad things happen, and that do me dirty, ask them. If you can ask them, they probably in shirts because blast them. Oh, it's tragic because it's grown so big. Now, everybody crush me. When I reacted to a YBC duel shooting at Draco, he ain't know how to hold it. He could, he's shaking while he trying to shoot it, all type of. Now, is that, a, is that not a, a Draco? Is that not a, what is that? It look, it, regardless, it's a stick, it's a chopper. So in a video, he didn't know how to shoot it, but he on the block with it. My point is, if you're going to be in the streets, I understand some people have circumstances. But before this video even start, anybody in the streets understand, gang. If your circumstances make you push you to the street life, I get that. Try to get out. But putting on this image that you this big bad wolf, you untouchable, and you this army veteran Delta Force nigga that can't dodge bullets on some Neo Matrix, like, everybody can get touched, bro. Understand that, bro, and move like that, bro. Because I'm tired of seeing niggas get killed over nothing. Kill people don't have nothing to do tomorrow. They're the most dangerous people in the world. In, in essence, bro, when you're in public spaces, you almost put civilians around you at risk. It's like, it ain't safe for us or the that's it. We gamble, bro. We gamble every day, bro. Every day. Street, dirty, nasty, maniacal, diabolical shit. Killings, drug dealings, gorillas. Who knows what's going on out here? And, bro, do you think drill music is good? That's what it is. That's what it is, boy. It got its pros and its cons, though. It got its pros and its cons. But I feel like it's bad more than it's good. I'm a South though. Philly no matter where I go. Every day I leave the crib, make sure I got my pole. Every day I leave the crib and make my pockets full. Damn! Every day I'm on my J.O., that's just how I go. I don't know what J.O. means. I put my runners on a mission for that pot of gold. Graduated out the churches, I made honor roll. I've been running up that bank, just like I'm supposed. Not just... It's nothing fun in the streets. But it's a lot of space in jail. For sure. You feel me? Nothing fun, but it's a lot of space in jail. It's always a bump ready, boy. You hit him. And what's the name? Mr. Disrespectful. I'm gonna f who you with. A little disrespect. This is Mr. Disrespectful. Bad attitude to have, man. Rest in peace, This is my interview with YBC Duel. Duel was murdered weeks after this interview. This was one of his last public interviews. It's a heartbreaking situation all around for both Duel's people and the streets of Philly. Yet another life was taken in the streets. When you're watching these documentaries, remember one thing that's for certain, that these are real situations and real consequences of the streets. Rest in peace to Duel. This ain't no video name, game, bro. It's not, it's not easy to get that kind of name. I really be disrespected, like, it's just three for a soul. And Duel. I disrespect. Where are we at the moment? Right now, we in Philly, we in the trenches right now. Y'all know what the is going on. Real guttery. We in the Real, gutter right yeah. now. There's so many names, so many blocks, a lot of dead ops. This that music you hop in that car and go kill too. Sometimes I forget I'm a superstar. I go on drills too. And where are we at the moment, bro? We in the dirtiest, the nastiest, the triflingest place in the world. Strawberry Mansion, Philadelphia, <laughs> North Philadelphia. And what's this mm. area known for? Uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, Strawberry Mansion, that's it, the school. That's all we know for is the school. 
And I guess, within the streets, what's it known for? Street, dirty, nasty, maniacal, diabolical shit. Killings, drug dealings, gorillas. You know what's going on out here. Stop playing. Why is it so bad? It's just like, I can't even explain to you why. We over there high as hell. It's just a bunch of guttery <laughs> on one side. We just want to get the cracking. It's like the same going on, like drug trafficking, getting shot, robberies. Like everything, how everything goes, you know what I'm saying? Like a eight out of 10 of you in some shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you in some shit, of course you always gotta be on 10, like, you know? Like, but I'm not gonna lie, this looks a lot much, much more treacherous than anywhere I've been so far in Philly. Damn. Man, yeah, it, it cool. looked like that just on the video. Nigga, it looked like they on a Call of Duty map. I'm not going. See, one thing about me, I recognize this very, very early, very, very young. I don't want to go over there no more. <laughs> I'm tired of being over there, gang. I don't want to go over there no more. I'm not going to the hood. No. I'm going home. And I'm, come, I'm not coming outside my house, man. Y'all, I'm tripping. I'm going home. When I leave home, I'm going downtown. When I leave downtown, I'm going back home. I'm not standing on the block. I'm not sitting outside. I'm not pulling up to the block. I'm not pulling up to the other folks' block. I'm not pulling up over there. I'm not sitting out there. I'm not standing out there. I ain't doing no interview out there. I'm going home. It's Strawberry Mansion. At the end of the day, you feel me? This shit, this shit always been treacherous. Like, I'm like, man, I, this shit always been treacherous. To be honest, to be honest, Twin, I ain't even gonna lie to you. You safe right now, you with me, boy. You feel me? No, you're not. It's that gutter right now. You're not safe. It just depends on who you He's know, lying bro. To you. That's all it is, bro. No, I ain't gonna lie if you want, if you want some regular chill shit. Yeah, if you want some cool shit, though, bro, like, don't be on no bro. We ain't on there in Philly. Like, we really got ops. We do the niggas that need done to them. Like, in the year of 2021, Man, I read the story. He's lying to you. Don't ever, you ever go to somebody hood, they tell you, yeah, we safe. They're lying to you. How the hell you, we safe, and you got 13 dead homies. He got shot four times. He got shot six times. Folks took a bullet to the head top. Uh, you just got shot at the other day. How the hell we safe? That ain't safe. Pause. Listen, I have a mentorship called the Moolah Membership where I'm going to teach you how to get rich with business, YouTube, crypto, stocks, financial literacy, credit, every single way. Now, I became a millionaire by the time I was 23 years old. I'm going to teach you step by step for only $50. Click the first link in the description right now and get added to my group chat where I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one help to make sure you get rich in 2024. Click it right now. Stop tweaking because we got very, very, very limited spots and I don't want you to miss this bag. There was 501 murders, bro. Yeah. That's like a murder every 18 hours. Yeah. What what why what happened that year? <laughs> like what happened yeah. in that year? You said 2021, right? It was that pandemic. <laughs> pandemic, yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, it was that pandemic <laughs> and it's like yeah. a lot of gave people too much free time. Yeah, too free much free time. time. And was it just wild on the streets of Philadelphia? Yeah. yeah. They had money, they got they had got better got better guns and all that shit. So it was like mm -hmm. with it with that checks as buying guns. Hell yeah. yeah. Get you, it's like once you got money, you can buy whatever gun you want. Right. And I, so in hindsight, that, that's probably one of the worst decisions they could have done. Yeah. Like the, 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 I feel like the, 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 the murder rate nationwide in 2021 went through the roof. Yeah. Around that time, it was like, well, they knew they what they so were doing. So much money. And it was. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't realize all that pandemic shit, boy. That shit was the, that was a simulation game. They yeah, that was the purge. We gonna get their ass a whole bunch of money. Then we gonna get their ass more money, access to more money. Who got locked up for PPP, bro? Come on, bro. Everybody know the whole hood did that shit in every city in America. Ain't nobody get locked up for that shit. We finna get their ass a, a, the more money they ever seen in their life. They gonna go do more stupid shit with it. They gonna make us richer. Then they gonna kill each other. And we ain't gonna lock nobody up. We just gonna act like we ain't see it. Guns, That's the part. You feel me? Ammo. That man, all that shit after the man, checks came out, you already know, like, that switches, you feel me, like, all type of shit. new shit. unemployment. You know what I'm Come on, man. It was never f no switches until 2021, right? You feel me? That's but, crazy, bro. Yeah, but, um, like, I say that shit definitely went up because everybody, everybody was hungry. hungry. They lost I feel all their like, money. I feel like everybody we just gave them ten thousand dollars, and you know, we're gonna spend it on fly shit, you know, we're gonna go broke quick, so now be like, oh no. 
I gotta live like that again. Time to go rob somebody. Oh, he ain't wanna get robbed. Nope, he got hit. Oh, oh, it's hella crimes going on. That was the worst fucking the time eat, in my life. At the end Fish of the day, sure. start beefing. You feel me? That's just how it ends. You right, bro? How are you? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. How you doing? I'm good, bro. What's the name? My boy Skrilla. Skrilla. Nice to meet you, Skrilla. Yeah, it's me. And where are we? We in the trenches. We in Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Kensington to be exact, though. Kensington. Boy, that shit look and like. Zombie come on, Land. man. Kensington to be exact, though. Kensington. Come on, man. That look. Come on, man. That look like a fucking Call of Duty map, bro. That's like a mission, man. I'm not going that place. Y'all, it's crazy, bro. Regular, it's regular. That's nothing, that though. Come on, we out. That's Hell nothing. on earth, man. Grill it for president, you yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit, boy. I'm telling y'all right now, everybody always say trapping is cool, trapping is... Man, I, man, let me tell you, Shorty, I was trapping, I started trapping when I was 13, I started trapping hard, hard drugs, nigga, when I was about six, 15, 16. The places you gotta go to sell this shit is like, bro, it's not cool, bro, I promise you it's not cool. I'm here at the moment interviewing Skrilla um, in Kensington Ave. We're going to find out what his life's like and what it's really like living in the trenches. Skrilla, at the moment in your life, do you have to constantly be looking over your shoulder at all times? Ooh, yeah, no, hell yeah, no, though. But I'm straight over here, though. I got eyes behind me right now, though. Like, I'm straight. When I'm down this bitch, though, I'm straight, though. I got eyes all around out this bitch. This, Wait, like, is it like certain parts of Philly, if you was, your head would have to be on a swivel at all times? Yeah, kind of everywhere, though. Everywhere in Philly, though. But this home base, though, I still got to be on the swivel over here, though, but I got eyes on the swivel for me, though. Screw that. At what age did you jump off the porch? Probably, like, I, I jumped off the porch, like, 13, 14, like, 14, like, 14, I jumped off the porch. But, like, I really, really jumped off the porch, like, like, 15, 16, like, 16, like, 16. And I get, what, how did your parents feel about it? Because I was a 16 year old, bro. No one wants their son jumping I ain't off the porch. Gonna lie, my parents ain't f with that, sh though. Like, I was strong. I'm on some scattered, sh cause, cause I used to play ball. Like, I did a lot of little, sh though. Yeah. As a young boy, I did, like, a lot of, like, that a lot of didn't do, though. Like, I, I didn't went to good schools. I didn't play ball. I didn't play football. I didn't play every sport. And then why get into the street school like, if you've got all that going on? Because I wanted there. money when I was young boy. Yeah, I wanted money. Too. And I like how the music I listened to and this was glorified though. Like this is like, this is like what I wanted to be. Like I'm what I wanted to be. Yeah, tell me about your life then, though. So what was your life like in the younger years? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I just thought about, so I, I, like, I ain't, I just, I'm gonna stop, like, whatever. I'm not letting my kids listen to this music. That's why I don't listen to it. You get what I'm saying? That's why I don't, that's why I stopped listening to drill music for real. I'm listening to some Gunner, some Brent Fire, some Drake, nigga. Put on some, uh, Black. Put on some Summer Future, some Thug, some, 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 uh, nigga. Some Bryson Tiller. Put on some smooth, old music. Don't listen to what people say. Throw some old school shit, you know? Because my kids going to grow up. They not going to think that, oh, yeah, I got to give me a gun and a switch and a glick and a blick. And a... No, you got to go get you some money. And... <laughs> you get what I'm for saying? Real, like... like, I sure was, like, low key. Like, I sure was hard. I ain't going to lie. I had, like a, like, a rough experience growing up. I ain't never really had too much, like, feel me? When you say rough experience, tell me more. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, the typical Philly like, play sports, had one parent household, and like, I can't, bro, this just so it's normal, bro. Like, like yeah, it's like, that's what's wrong with it, though, gang. One parent household, so now you disrespectful because you ain't got no dad that'll slap the shit out of you when you get Typical disrespectful. Stereotype, you know I'm bro, I can't even, like, tell him, like, bro, my, like, like, shoot, like, growing up, feel me, like, I ain't gonna, we always. Up, feel me? So yeah, I probably was the worst. Shit, I probably like, was like, out of all my homies, though, like growing up, bro, I ain't gonna say I was the worst because it was for that sure was that was up, in more yeah. fucked up predicaments than me, but like, I was one of the ones, though, but like, you gotta, yeah, though. Like, you was gotta. Like, yeah. out of all my homies, though, like, I was one of the ones. I was 
Yep. So, bro, what's the name? I'm FS the Bender, if y'all know. Yeah. And um, where are we now? We we in the gutter. We in the, you in the real historical place. And um, when you say the gutter, what part of Philadelphia is that? We in North Philadelphia. North Philadelphia. Yes, sir. And what's that known for? The murder we rise. What age did you jump off the porch? I jumped off the porch when I did my first robbery. I want to say I was I was 15 years old when I did my first robbery. What was the circumstances? I was up. I ain't had nothing but a gun, and I was tired of the like I was running. I was young, so I had a different mindset. I felt like people didn't Look, deserve. He high still tipping had. over. This shit ain't cool, bro. That's not my place, cause that's what people want. So I used to feel like I'm gonna take that shit, cause I feel like I deserve it more than they do. But that's what a motherfucker worked for. I just I had a fuck that way of thinking. Look at him. And I guess that what, ain't when cool. Ain't cool about that shit, man. That my first time being forced to sit in jail when I couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't bill out, couldn't call and she my mom. She like, sit up, quick, sit up. He like, he can't even come on, bro. Ain't nothing cool about this junkie shit, gang. This ain't cool, bro. The right shit to do, but I kept going against it. I kept touching the fire and burning my hand because I wanted to see if it was really hot. So by the time I got in situations where I needed people, I was kind of up. I wasn't fucked up, but I was up because nobody wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to sit back and learn and become a man and just know like everything ain't gonna go your way and. Nothing is, nothing is, nothing is given to you. You gotta go work for it. I'm in the trenches out here with the killers. You can catch us serving all the guys, ain't worrying about no bitches. Whatever you need, you know we got to slide on the block. No way ain't worrying about no wop for y'all out here taking wop. You know what I'm finding crazy, bro? I feel like people in these hoods are almost desensitized to murder. There's none. It's like, oh, no, it's, it's like sad to say, but it's, it's like normal. It's normal, yeah. It's, it's really like, it got normalized to it. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's nothing, it's like, it's, it's really normal, especially when we're in the church, we, or you come up to the church, like, we should do this for the kids or the people on the block, like, just to keep certain things safe, because at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's we can really insane. control, we can control this shit down here. We can control this shit. We can control this shit. We but we shot them, but we take care of ourselves. You want me to cut that out? You want me to cut that out? No, no, don't cut your phone out. You don't want to get this, man. It's so f***ed up. See, I'm saying, like, these niggas be slow. A lot of times, bro, people don't, like, yes, don't get me wrong, you was born in a bad place and all that, bro. But I always be saying to niggas, it's like, bro, you know it's a Beverly Hills, bro. You know it's some white people that live rich as hell and don't have to duck, tote guns and Dracos all day, bro. Change your life, bro. The problem be the, the problem is, bro, at the end of the day, bro, everybody think the streets is cool. Point blank, period. And as long as my think the streets is cool, bro, they never going to change. Gang. They going to always try. I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure I'm a real street nigga. And even if I got to die at the age of 19, I'm going to be a real street nigga. I'm going to disrespect people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure everybody know that I was a real street nigga. So that when I'm dead and at my funeral, they can be like, yeah, he was really in the streets. He was a real savage. He was a real this. He was a real that. That shit don't give you no brownie points. You don't come back to life just because you was a real street nigga. You know, your, fam your, your family ain't going to be paid. Well, when you die just because you was a real street nigga while you was here, that don't, that don't, that ain't real, real nigga credit. That don't work at the bank, gang. So it was like, it was something, but now it was nothing. It's like now everybody knows it's like, you're going to die regardless. So it's like murders is like getting yeah, natural. So, so the word murder spoken about in this environment. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming, yeah. bro. All you got to do is download the Citizens app, bro. Right now. Like, right now. Somebody probably dying right, right now. now. Somebody dying right now. Like how we is right now, bro? The whole video is right now. It's the summertime. And you have to look over your shoulder wherever you go. A lot. That surely can't be enjoyable, though. It's not, but I feel like as a normal person, you protect yourself anyway. You should be on alert. You should never not be aware of your surroundings, even as a normal person. Here's my podcast, guys. Now that's true. That's true. I agree with that. You should never, ever not be aware of your surroundings, even if you're not in the streets, even if you're a square. Because people get hit with strays all the time, bro, just because they're in the wrong position or just because they, they weren't paying attention or just because they had headphones on. You feel? Bro, do you think drill music is good for society? It got its pros and its cons, though. It got its pros and its cons. What's it's the good pros? for if you tr some people make it out with this. That's shit, true. Like, That's a lot of people make it out. With I can this say. And a lot of people make themselves 
something like a, a, a job and like they get themselves something to do. But it, it's, it got a pros and its cons though. It got its pros and its cons. I'm but sorry. I feel like it's bad more than it's good though. You can drill at the same time. Yeah. 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 I ain't that oh, from started man, back bro. in 2012 from Chief Keith and when they start dropping music, that shit influenced Philly a little bit. I yeah, ain't I gonna, gonna lie. That shit influenced the fucking yeah, world. Yeah, that shit influenced the world, world like, bro. Like our generation was the last generation of like going to high school and still worrying about mm -hmm. fist fights. Like yeah, now, bro, yeah, you gotta man. go to school with a pipe. If not, yeah. bro, you're getting cooked. Bro, yeah. shit. I'm going for the kill. I'm trying to stretch it. Two, three, playboy. I'm gonna stretch the 20 grand on the two. head. That's the next victim. My bitch got a nice ass and she walked different. Bro, most wanted, so he not coming. Get down or lay down. We got the P jumping. Corvette, yak off fast. They can't see nothing. Broke boy, you ain't got a life. You ain't gonna be nothing. Damn. music, <laughs> yeah. You ain't got a life. You ain't gonna be nothing. It's very aggressive. Oh, yeah. But again, being a Muslim, it surely can't go hand in hand. I understand being in the streets, mm -hmm. but then when you have the ability to speak about it, and you're speaking aggressive, I thought it almost, I guess, contradicts the, the religion. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, because actually being a Muslim, we're not supposed to make music exactly, at all. Exactly, exactly. Uh, we're not supposed really? to make music at that. all, so it's just like, everybody's sense, so you just got, you, you just got Would you ever consider changing the style of your lyrics? Huh? Would you ever consider well, changing the, the make aggressive music, style that you have? It's like, actually, Keith, it's like once I get in the doors, yeah, like, I, 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 I'll be willing, like, to change my whole, my whole image. But you know what it is, Keith? Like, I think it's good that, obviously, you, I can see you're a very genuine and black and white person, yeah. Uh -huh. But I feel like it's all good telling the next generation, don't do what you did. Yeah, but, but, you're still but doing. when you're saying that stuff in your music, I feel like that hits 10 times harder than this interview ever will. No, right. yeah. For sure. No, you know, you're right. So, it's like, I only see this in my music because it's like entertainment. That's like, that's like, but see that entertainment shit though, like it's come to a point, you could be entertaining, you can be entertaining and still, it's an audience for everything, bro. So you can be entertaining and still still drift the youth in a minute in, into a right direction. You can rap about, yeah, I was in the streets. I, I seen my brother die. If you don't want to die, go get you some money. Money going to solve your problems. Woody, 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 but it ain't funny. Whatever you, you feel. I ain't, listen, man. I ain't got the bars right now. I'm just saying, folks. Motherfucker ain't got to encourage this shit, gang. Like, make it sound cool. That's why these kids keep doing it, gang. Let's start it's now. Like, that's what they be wanting to hear. But it's like that's wild as well. Don't you think that that's what exactly that that's yeah. what get views is hearing yeah. murder murder anthems. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like that's what they be wanting to hear. But like as you said, like with the kids, it's like I I tell them that because I tell them like not to get in the streets because when was telling me I ain't listen. I ain't think I thought they were just like talking. Like we really like be thinking motherfuckers just be talking. These just don't be talking. They be telling us the truth. Like like with the street shit. Like stay out the streets. Like if I had a chance to stay out the streets, I really wouldn't be in the streets. I won't even be rapping about this dumb ass if I ain't get in the streets. It is stupid. That's wise, bro. Yeah. But you like can get streets, out the streets, the bro. The streets the reason why I'm rapping like this. And bro, do you think Drew? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You don't have to stay in Philly to make the songs, though, bro. Like, rap about some fake beef. Rap about the 39ers. Them people gonna be like, who the hell is them people? Nobody. May They made them up. Like, you feel me? music's good for society. Would you say it's bad? No. I mean, no. Nothing that we listen to be good, but you feel me? Of course, drill music ain't gonna be good for real, for real, for the for, for the that's like dumb as hell to actually like you know what I'm saying go out here and do this shit. like right. I don't want to go out here doing this shit that I listen to and this drill music. Shit. You feel me? Like I want the same way a motherfucker might play GTA. You feel me? And and go back outside and live a normal life. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to be like that's that with the music, to take but it, though. do get. Influenced by the music, yeah. you feel me? Crazy. <laughs> Out for paper, that's the motto. Out for paper, we the mob. Get it any way you can, or be broke when you die. I was in the trap making that bubble, telling granny lies. She asked us, was that residue? Then we start getting butterflies. Woo! Suit and tie, buy while you breathing before you reach the skies. Woo! Yo, bitch, got that sweet pussy, and that's where it applies. Woo! Fuck fame, dropping soon and watch these numbers multiply. Looking at me, froggy eye, looking like you want pray to God. Woo! Every time I hop up on the beat, seem like a murder happened. My blasting, hitting hard like them crack addicts. Bad things happen. And that do me dirty, ask them. If you can ask them, they probably in shirts cause <laughs> blast them. I'll hear it's tragic cause it's grown for business. I remember all them nights that we was graveyard shifting. We was all about a dollar trying to ball Scott Pippen. We was making all the noise, but y'all was sounding like crickets. I'm like looking at my past now, wondering where I'm going to. Cop is keeping tags on the that never with you. I rock Claiming it, bro. They never I rap like that. Until they comfortable before five is functional. Attitudes is adjustable, pussy. Let's go. I like that, bro. Hey. I like that.
And I don't know why I'm gonna tell you real quick intervention. And please stop getting these comments telling me Marco come to Philly and do what? Die? I'm not doing that, bro. The only reason I'm coming to Philly is to go to a Sixers game, okay? That's it. If it's not that, bro, I promise you, I'm not coming to Philly and kicking it with none of you niggas. <laughs> I'm not doing it. It ain't that type of place, you hear? I am finna get flame up that thought, though. One get I'm shot and murdered, and the police said to you, and you've witnessed it happen, and the police said, if you tell us who did it, they'll go to prison forever. Ah, uh, shit, now you don't even ask me that question. That shit out. That shit out. That shit out. That's but, a no-go. But you know why I asked that, bro? Because I think civilians find that mind-blowing. Like, for everyone, 95% like of people, when they hear me ask that question, I often get that response. Yeah. And, and people are mind blown, bro. Can you see why they would be? Kind of, yeah, nah. Because nah. if someone shot my mum, bro, like, I guess I'd want justice. And in my eyes, justice would be that the fact that he never goes home again. Nah. That's not weird. We don't, that's not justice, that's though, not justice though, like, to us, though. We don't want that, though. We want that. We want, yeah, though, like, we want, we want blood for real. We want blood. I ain't gonna lie though. I feel like if I seen somebody, God forbid, if I seen somebody do something to my mama, right, and I watched them and I know who did it, I feel like I should have the legal right to go smoke that nigga. That's how I feel. Cause you putting him in jail, what's that gonna do? He still eating, he still breathing, he doing everything that my mom ain't get a chance to do because he tweaking. So I should have the legal right to go take care of my business, gang. And I should be able to go to the police and be like, yeah, I did that because of this, this dude. And they should. Gather the evidence and find me. If they shouldn't even charge me. On Phantom Grave. Why are you charging me, bro? Like, no, I feel like that's it. That you sued them because it's like, did that person think about and they took my son's life? Did they think about what the consequences going to be? No, nothing. And did anyone in the talk about These cops are here taking our lives. You feel me? Oh, that's that long the camera, bro. Listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. You walk in with us, bro, you'll never have nothing to worry about. Never. Like, I'm talking about never. Because these cops really out here killing anybody. Any no cap. Anybody, and you're not taking that to one. We stand on privilege as a family. As the a cops group. really do bro, be I on that, especially I heard about that, that in Philly. That exact situation. I done seen my aunt walked up and seen that's my homie. So yeah, never, ever would I ever turn him over to the law, bro. Never. No, what is that going to do, bro? What's that going to do? You're off that gold prison there, and you knew that would happen. Would you, knowing that would happen, would you still, would you? Then do it. It's, it's to the point, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's to the point where, like, bro, it's to the point where, like, bro, on some real shit, bro, or something like that happened, bro, we killing you, right? Exactly. And if and if we don't get to get you before the cops before get you, bro, when you in jail, bro, it's gonna, like, gonna, gonna get you in jail. Shit, this shit don't stop, bro. You feel me? This shit don't stop. Like, the war don't end. Like, this shit still to, like, while we out here having our freedom, it's the other side of the world. Right now, bro, I'm about to show you, bro. This shit is real, bro. I can show you right now, bro. No. Bro, this shit just happened three hours ago, bro. No, I bro, some stabbing him oh. in front of the guards and everything. You're stabbing him? Yes. It's right now, bro. bro. This Philly, bro. This shit don't stop. That shit, that shit dead. Yeah. Pokemon. They this call shit. that shit the Pokemon City. We got caught in the streets. That's why we go caught in the streets. You know the rules that you abide by. You know you can never do no shit like that. I've been shot. I've been shot four times. Four times. Yeah, I turned them down every time. And you knew who it was? Yes, check me down every time. That's mind blowing, bro. When I'm on the other side of the gun, it's like, I would want somebody to do the same shit for me. At this moment in my time. It's not even that, oh. though. It's. Like, shit, what I'm gonna do, snitch? Now, yeah, I just putting a bigger target on my back. Now, it's giving niggas more of a reason to come come in me off. What do you, do? you think they're gonna let? they gonna know I'm snitching. They're gonna let me sit on that stand and point them out. If I sit on that stand and point him out, you don't think his best hom his homie that was with him when he popped me? You don't think he gonna come do something to me to make sure he don't go to jail? It's really a, it's really, it's really like, I don't know, fool. It's like no answer. I think to this if shit. it was a family member, my hell no. I don't feel like I would like then tell the cops all that. Like who did it? If I know who did it, like you feel me? Like same with like same. I ain't gonna lie, like you feel me? Like like even with like homies out here, like I'm just being real at the end yeah. of the day. Homies got killed out here, you feel what I'm saying? I know who killed they homies. You feel what I'm For saying? Sure. And at the end of the day, For sure. if if everybody felt that way to sit there and like, you know, tell a cop or whatever the case may be, sometimes that shit don't even do nothing. You yeah. feel me? Like Nah niggas yeah, don't know you uh, snitching and he still ain't can't uh, get little can't get locked up. All the time and shit like that, but that shit don't, you know what I'm saying? Be messed up.
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be out of the way. Would you tell the police? Listen, uh, when I was when I was a young, wild, stupid, retarded motherfucker. No, I wouldn't tell. When I was 20, I'm 30 with a kid, two kids. Two kids. I want them to succeed. I want to succeed. I want to leave legacy. Right. Bitch, you going to the jail? Right? Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He right here. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. He just went on the corner. Yeah, he gotta go to jail. What are you out here for? What are you here for? Yeah. You're not doing nothing productive. You're not. Do, you're not helping society. Yeah. Go to jail. Pe people that kill people are bombs. You know bombs. that? Yeah. People that people that people that's catching bodies. They ain't got no money, bro. These niggas ain't rich. And if they do got a little bit of money, they blowing it all. So you not rich, bro. Because people that have stuff to do tomorrow, you got to make a deck to London. Exactly. I can guarantee you not going to kill nobody in America. Right. Yeah, you feel me? Because you got something to do. You got something to do. People that kill people don't have nothing to do tomorrow. They're the most dangerous people in the world. Yeah. No cap. Wow, it's the truth. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't tell no lies. That's so true, though, yeah. Yeah, like watch he said, when I, was, when I was young and dumb in the streets, oh, no, I got to be a street nigga. No, I, 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 I got to be a street nigga. I, I gotta be a street nigga. I ain't, I ain't saying nothing now. Hey, help me! <laughs> I wish you would. I wish you would, Rob Mac. Moolah, shit. Nine one one. What's your mercy? He's trying to rob me. Help me! <laughs> Fuck you. You think I'm? You think I'm about to go to jail for the rest of my life? It's a few things. Don't get me wrong. I'm. I'm. You just gonna have to lock me up. You do something to my daughter. Nigga, one of these grown-ass niggas touch my young daughter, God forbid, when I have her. Bro, I swear to God, gang, I'm going to fucking jail. Somebody touch my girl. It's go I'm, 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 I'm pinning I'm pin them to the floor. Kai gonna buy me out? Yeah, bae gonna buy me out? Come get me down here, bae. We gotta go broke fighting this shit. We gonna go broke fighting it. I'm gonna make it look real good, too. I'm very aware of the laws. I know how to make it look like an accident. I know how to make you look like you the person that was the aggressor. I know where I'm living. I know the laws where I'm living. I know where I'm at. I know where the laws where I'm at. You feel what I'm saying? But the saying that I never call the police, so I never quote unquote snitch. I'm snitching on your ass. And if I'm in the car and you with me and you do some shit, they put you in jail and they come lock me up and they think I did it. You think I'm not going to snitch on you? See, niggas say no snitching, but niggas don't say take your charge like a man. Nobody do that, though. Fuck that. I'm gone. I got people. I gotta go on, bro. I ain't scared to die. You're not scared to die. You only die once. So the fuck, I'm not scared to die. It's gonna happen though. You wanna do it in ten years? Twelve right, years? Right. Right. You wanna do it right now? I don't wish jail on nobody. Like, even the people I don't with like that, I don't wish jail on them. Bro, them come so, like, bro, what about the person who shot you? Do you reckon he should be in prison for the rest of his life? Do I think he should be in prison? I don't. Uh, I don't think it. Nah. So what, what, what in your, your world is justification of what he did to you? What is justice in your eyes then if it's not prison? What is justice in my eyes? <laughs> don't let it happen again. I don't think it is. I don't think it... That shit ain't gonna happen again, but... No, so I mean, for him, bro, so what, so what justice should he be doing for what he's done to you? What do you reckon? So if you, you reckon prison's not it? What do you reckon? Yeah, prison's not... No. So what do you, you reckon should to, happen to him? Do you want him to die? Do you want to... Say if he's in control should now. He, if, he, if, he, if he got away with this then you feel me you got away with this shit. just move don't just i just tell bro, even if you saw down. the person who yeah. shot you if you saw the person who shot you if i saw him face to face and, and you knew who it was and, I knew who it was. and nah. would you would you would you would you go to the police would i go to the police no nah, bro i don't always jail nobody bro i don't always jail nobody bro bro that's shocking bro Crazy. That shit's stupid. Obviously, to civilians, that's obviously in your world, it's Come different. Come shoot but... me, nigga. I wish jail on your ass. I might snitch, I might not, but regardless, I hope you get locked up, you bitch ass nigga. Because if you to to me as a civilian, bro, that, that's you. insane, bro. So you 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 uh, send a person to jail, shot you, bro. If Hell someone shot yeah. me one hundred percent, like I'd want justice. I feel like that's fair you justice. I mean, like, yeah, it is. Some like, okay. no, bro. He shot me. He'll never never see his family okay. for twenty years. So to me, in my eyes, I mean, that's a level of justice. You're still alive, right? You still can see your family and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga can't see his family and shit no more after that. Yeah, yeah. You know, can call him whenever, call him a certain time. No, like, nigga still got family. That's all true. This more, all this, like, it's more, to, it's more than that. And say if you, like, probably did, you did that, probably did that shit by accident. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what the, like, all I remember is just shots letting ring off. You feel me? I don't know who it was meant for or anything. I don't know, like. It's a lot of people, I, like, I'm learning a lot of people, so a lot of other people, like civilians, civilians in the park, and I don't know if they civilians or not, but it's people in the park, you feel me, everything. So you don't know who the shot's for, like, I don't, you feel me? 
I don't risk jail on nobody though, bro. Nah, head that bro. Got families to feed, all that shit. He can't feed his family in jail. But but look, can, oh, yeah, but look what he's done. So look what he's get, doing, though. But he should, he should he have that right after what he's done, though. I hear no. what you're saying, but there's two sides to that coin. Right. There's, there's a, there's a, what is it? There's a, there's a reaction for every action. Right. So this, the, the, an action is leaving you in a wheelchair, bro. So there should be a, a heavy. I'm in a like, oh, he done, like I said, that's what I thought. Like he, I'm in a wheelchair for the rest of my life, boy. I hope you go to jail, bro. I hope, I hope, nigga. I hope they tie your ass up like this and keep you alive. You'll never move, nigga. I wish the worst on you, boy. I don't that, care about nothing. No, listen, that. if I forgive him, why the fuck nobody else can forgive him? Then if the nigga who shot me off, I can forgive him. Why the fuck nobody else can forgive him? If I say on the nigga, he shouldn't be in jail. If I'm the one, he did it to me. I say he shouldn't be in jail. He shouldn't be in jail. You feel me? No, I don't want with jail nobody. But he ain't saying don't snitch though. He just say I don't want just. I forgive you. Like I ain't finna. But he probably on some shit. Like I ain't finna be riding around mad. I'm in a wheelchair now. I'm not living the rest of my life mad. That's an interesting ass perspective. I ain't never bro. heard nobody say that yeah, like that though. Fuck that that person. That's powerful, bro. You, you might got other people got different. Nah, really. And all 100%, 100%. That, but you feel me? And, it, I, and it's very interesting to hear your perspective because obviously the situation, bro, as well. It's true. Let me tell you about my life. You can't wake from this dream. I seen the head pop. It was a messy scene. We on the block serving them rocks. Shit, we got what you need. If you ain't stepping, you ain't two, three, four, no limit dream team. That's crazy, Turn off the bro. porch at a young age. We on bikes on the block. I'm in a wheelchair yeah, the rest of my life, lot, bro. I used to run play a lot. and jump. And, we used to man. hit the outside before we played the spot. Not even on that tip. We used to hoop. Was working on our shot. Now we outside really trying to hoop. Be working on our shot. Bro told me use my head and get his rap all I got. But I cannot leave the hustle on my Glock. A lot of they got shot. A lot of laid in boxes. Take he in a wheelchair, right bro. Over. I say, bro, stop rapping. Get on this content shit, bro. Sit here and react to videos, gang. Sit here and, and, and talk to the camera. Sit here and have a podcast. You ain't got to get up and do nothing for that. See, he can't even nope. make an option. Just for all that trolling on the net, we're going to make patience out of the op die. My mom asking, but I don't got nothing to say about it. Might just put it in my music just to get some paper out of it. I was calling up LS. That little nigga steady driving. I was trying to slide for us. I was trying to provide for us. Hit a block, then hit a face. We only got a nine tourists. I'm really EBK. If you ain't mine, then I slime yours. I lost my little brother to this so I be saying, the trench, but I've been staying away from this shit. So I still be loving it. If the ops said to you they want to call a truce, they think that's possible. Then how would it ever end? To the, to the, they all got to die. That's the only way to it. Where them all got to disappear, like. They got to all go. This joint right here do the trick. Magic wand. too. I don't think they would even. Dude, that shit got like, shark teeth. I said like, five, seven filled with blue teeth. Six, no, you, you can't, can't fight this shit. I can't yeah. stop nothing because I feel like I lost too much. Mm -hmm. I lost too much for me to just to just give it all away now. Like I used to, like I, I still feel like this, but I feel I feel I used to feel like all right, the way I'm too deep in this shit now. Like I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life behind this shit, and I just gotta be content with it because like. Is that what you think? No, so, you bro, don't. That's what's gonna happen to you. Yeah, I feel like you live by what you die by. It's gonna happen. But it's just like, I want to word it to you right. It's not like, if you think, if you just think you're going to run around, you shoot all day, you killing n****s, you robbing, you stealing, you doing all this dirt, yours is going to come back to you. And nine times out of ten, it's going to come back to you the way that you was giving it up. So it's just like, that's how I look at it. Well, for 21 years old, yeah, you spit some facts, bro. And another question I, I ask ain't going to lie, though. He's right, but shit. Trenches, if if the op said to you, Skrilla, let's just call a truce, how would you feel about that and would you? Yeah, I'd be with that shit for sure though, for sure though, for sure though. Yeah, that's... Yeah, for sure though. Definitely where I'm at though, to where I'm at though... You got a head on strong. It'll it it change a lot. To say that. Just growing up, like a lot of other younger, young <laughs> would change, like, they look up to me, so they, like, that shit, like, stop the violence. Stop the violence. And uh, would you, is that something that you're advocating and promoting at the moment? I guess pushing peace. Yeah, I'm always pushing peace, though. I'm always pushing peace. Oh, I'm pushing I... peace. No, we could, we, it's like, we can stop that shit, but it all depends on how coming about it. Like, a lot of be like, they say that and then the next, the next couple months of it, that should be on again. It's like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna say that shit, you gotta be a man about it and be serious. And bro, what would you say? Is it, it's the worst memory of your life so far at 21? Who's my friends? Who's the people that I started to, like, that I started to, like, to become the person that I am with? Like, 
that should take everything from you. That, that should make, make you a different everything. person. That should make you. That make you a different person. I'm, I'm gonna stop pausing it, but like losing your homies, bro, is real. Pro because you gonna grow. It, it really hurts you. Like now, I'm gonna be 26 in like what 10 days, and 11 days, and like I don't know, like. Like the niggas that knew me when I was 14 ain't here. So I can't be like, you remember when I, I can't even share their memories. I can only tell the story, but it's like, it's just not really there, folks. You feel me? So when you think about like now, okay, nigga finna, nigga, nigga, okay, let's say you finna get married. Who gonna come to your wedding if all your homies dead, bro? You get a new mansion, a new car. Who gonna pull up on you and smoke one with you if all your homies dead, bro? Who you were? I ain't gonna lie. That shit scared it, right? Alright, look. Damn. I was I was in my I was sleeping bro. Well this is probably the worst call I ever got, bro. I was sleeping this is probably the worst memory, bro. I was sleeping shit. I wake up to this phone call, bro. When I get on a FaceTime, bro, it's my little cousin like stretched out in the camera. That's my little cousin. But he was dead on the camera on the FaceTime call. Somebody called me like, yo, this your folks. I just looking like fuck. That's deep, bro. That shit was good. Damn. How many people have you both lost with Rick? Like, I lost a lot. I, I ain't gonna lie. I've been losing fucking generation. Like, I probably wasn't, I probably ain't lose, like, my homie since that time, but I've been losing my family. Like, motherfuckers I really love since probably, like, 10, I'm at 09, 2010. That was my whole family. Yeah, that was my favorite family. Yeah. That was my, my best cousin. Yeah, that's that's uh, what would you say is the worst memory of your life? They all gonna say the same shit. I know it. Yeah. My, uh, pop. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, my pop and shit, he passed away and shit. Okay, that was it, though. Uh, hey, bro, what's the worst memory you have from the trenches? Where's... I got out. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's just, out. Like, what you, what you mean by words? Like, what happened? What I seen? What's the yeah, crazy yeah. I've been like? Something that you never forget. I seen... It's a lot, man. I seen faces of one on the ground. I just seen... Choking on blood, but your faces... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going. And bro, how does that affect you mentally? I just seen blow up in cars and shit, man. Like this that, how it it's how we feel. That's how it affects. This affect me like this every day, man. Like, I'm pretty sure I'll see that shit. That shit did, man. Have you ever been? To, have, have anyone here been shot? What? That shit don't feel good, man. That shit don't feel good. I got all bullets. That shit don't feel good, man. Oh yeah. Forty. Forty. That shit don't feel good. Can you both fuck PTSD? Don't make this life. Yeah, shit. I'm no, bro, I be, bro, paranoia, you know? Like, this on me, on me, bro. I'm gonna do that on PTSD. Should've gambled, bro, we gamble every day, bro. Every day. Every day. That shit, on me, bro. Dude, have you ever had therapy while trying to get help? No, fuck therapy. I can fuck I can't do it. We all we need, bro, to get through this Bro, we've been, we 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 been doing it since the day oh, one, shit. bro. That's how we've been oh, doing we it, bro. Did you say you have PTSD? Yeah. I feel like I do. Did you get any help for that? I feel like, shit, this my hoe right here. <laughs> I'll be smoking this shit, smoking weed, you no feel cap, me? Nigga. Rapping, rapping, you feel me? That would be like my therapy. Like, so I ain't really, that'd be my hope right there for, for that little shit. Yeah. Bro, the fuck is like that? PTSD must be very real in these environments, bro. PTSD. Oh, this is real. <coughs> and, <coughs> and do you know what's heartbreaking? I guess you, neither of you ever get help for that either, do you? Have you ever got help for PTSD or well, spoke to anyone and tried to get it sorted? No. That's wild, bro. It's like, I ain't even no, no hope for that shit. I just be dealing with that shit. Dealing with that shit day by day. Would you say you're desensitized to murder? Yeah, I start going to therapy, bro. We see that shit every day. Every day. That shit, that shit is every day. Every, every day. That shit's crazy. Would you say that's affected your, I guess, your mental health to some degree? Because seem obviously that's not a normal thing to be witnessing. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not normal. I definitely think it fuck with a motherfucker mental, because, like, you know, like, 
at the end of the day, men and women, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we all walk out here, everybody from Philly, like, we all walk out here with a type of mindset already foot out the door. Mm -hmm. So it's like, everybody be in survival mode out here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why they say a lot of times in Philly, like, even though might not stick together, they say, like, if you from Philly, like, if you could make it out of Philly, you could make it out of anywhere. I'm pro. That's well, how it is you... in Chicago, too. That's why it's so crazy to be, like, when you live in L.A. and Miami, like, these are two places I lived where, like, everybody not in survival mode, bro. Like, you come outside of Miami, a lot of times people live, and they like, oh, how you doing? They go to the beach. They happy. It's sunny. L.A., everybody getting money. It's party. You see it? All the niggas got home. Everybody happy. You see it? Um, it's sunny skies, it's nice, it's shit going on, it's the beach, it's the, uh, the boats, it's the jet skis, it's the parties, it's the vibes, it's the good food, it's the restaurants. Chicago's like, everybody's just trying to like, no, no, make it home. I'm grow my well, what happened? This what happened. This literally what happened, right? I'm in the jail cell, 28 years old, turning 29 years old, I'm in, I'm booked for a gun. I got an 18-year-old Sully he booked for a gun. We running that then we talking about you. I hope you've never been in jail. When you in jail, them conversations in jail is eternally long. Right? You can be talking to the sun come up. When we was having one of them conversations, at the end of the conversation, you're like, dang, I ain't no grown-ups go through that. And I'm like, I didn't even know I was a grown-up. Yeah. So this 18 year old, I'm a grown ass man. Right. How the f I'm giving you game and I'm in a cell? You feel me? I think I'm giving you game, but I'm, when I'm giving you game to be a better criminal, right. I'm actually not giving you no game at all. I'm in here with you. You feel me? The real game is when you come outside and you say, oh no, this is how you do this, this is how you do this, this is how you do this, this is how you get this. That's the game, not, oh, oh, this is how you stay out the way, just, just, what? no, that's, oh, when the bitches do this, and fuck, that's a game. Yeah. That's nothing. That's not gonna make you no money, it's not gonna leave no legacy, it's not gonna make your mom proud, it's not gonna get your right. mom out the hood, it's not gonna do nothing. Right. So, I had to realize, oh, nigga, you a f nut. You thought you was cool. You thought you was still young, nigga. This nigga's 18, you're 28, about to be 29 years old. You're grown as f It's time to act grown. Stop being a child. So good. How easy for you now to leave the streets once you're in it? Can't, you really that can't leave the streets once you're in it. Strong, once you're in it, you're in it. Only way you leave in the streets is if you get money and, and the streets always gonna follow you if you got money not. still. So it's always gonna be there. So you can't not. leave the streets once you're in it. I don't know who told you that, it's bullshit. Okay, there's plenty of people that left the goddamn streets, moved the goddamn... If you were in Philly and you moved to L.A., you not finna tell me that you... No, gang. If you were in Philly right now, you moved to Orlando and you only go downtown in a nice white neighborhoods, you not finna tell me you gonna be just as at risk of dying or going to jail as if you stayed in your hood where you did all the shit to everybody over here, where you got your ops, gang. You don't even need no money to move to a place like Orlando. Or Phoenix. You don't even need a lot of money, gang. You can go work. And there's plenty of motherfuckers out there that got a regular job. Take you, your baby mama, and your best friend on broke grave. Get y'all a two bedroom apartment. Y'all shut that shit. Shut the bills. The bills gonna be like two, three thousand. Everybody spend a thousand. Easy. Y'all split the lights. Y'all split the water from the grave. Everybody feed they self. I bet you can do that with a regular job and still have some money left over. I bet using that money to invest. You don't need a lot of money to leave the streets, bro. You gotta get the hell on though. You don't have to go to, you don't have to come and go move to New York and no shit like that. Go move to Seattle, bro. Get you some money. Sit down. Figure out how I'm going to get this internet money. Or at least now you can rap out there and you ain't at risk like that, bro. You feel me? Like, you jump off the streets. Was it okay, so now you're in it. You're in it. Just believe me, bro. Elaborate on that a little bit more. So, like, to my understanding, I guess when people leave the streets, they still obviously have ops. Does that make sense? So yeah. In your situation now, that, uh, I'm not sure how, obviously how deep within the streets you are, but if, well, if you want to leave the streets, reckon you could just he get away. Fucking high. Leave. You know I reckon you, you always have a target on your back. I would have to leave the city. I can't just, I can't just leave and still be here. Cause this is where I did everything. It, it'll be my time to have to go. And and Joe, what's the plan to get out? Shit, the plan man. to get out is the <laughs> plan from the start. Like I don't like like I feel like growing up in Philly, everybody always had a thought like we gotta get the <laughs> out. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like for real, for real, my plan. You know what I'm saying? Like I know I'm gonna do everything in my power to. You know what I'm saying? Like actually get. Out of Philly, I always be traveling anyway. You dig what I'm saying? If like, you I love... always be traveling, stop traveling for six months. Use the same money to move. Y'all be acting like this shit is it's not hard. It's not as hard as y'all make it. 
Stop tweaking though. Getting out of Philly, like you know what I'm saying. Like today, I'm not you just that shit here, today. but it's like, like for a lot, of people, they ain't even get the chance to do that. Shit. Like you feel what I'm saying. Like I feel like I don't know, man. I'd rather stay out of Philly than be here though. And bro, what's your plan? Do you want to leave this environment, like this kind of a, the trenches of the hood, so to speak? You say? Would you want to leave the trenches and the hood? I want to leave. Yeah, I go a lot. Uh... Like, get houses and shit, like, different places. Yeah, I definitely want to move out the city. You feel me? Get different houses out the city, different... Out, and Paul, if you had one wish, what would that be? One wish... To bring all my back. No cap. Yeah, right here. Like, I don't make it out this shit. I'm going to be, like, any other from Philly. I feel like I'm going to be a nut-ass Like, I feel like you're going to see me later from, like, third... If I, if I, if I don't make it... Feel me, 10, 15 years from now, you're gonna see me like, yo, that's Mr. gonna be a oat out here. I'm not trying to be one of them. Yeah, I'm this. not. No, I gotta be. When they ass. see me 10, 15 years from now, I gotta have more Cubans on and more cars and more holes. Feel me? Like, it's like, I ain't. I got holes and like, I ain't gonna lie. I got some. I'm, I got comp. So I get my dukes, I gotta get my mom out the hood. Me. That don't cost like that much that. either. What would you say? It's the next that generation. That shit, two thousand a month. Go get a fucking one bedroom apartment in goddamn uh, Denver. What's wrong with y'all, gang? Y'all be making shit harder than it gotta be. That it's not hard. Jumping off the porch. What would your advice be to that generation? Um, and don't eliminate yourself, man. You you eliminate yourself, man, by taking your way from taking yourself away from the family, I mean, the world. I mean, all the opportunities that they giving dudes a day, man. They wasn't giving it to us 20 years ago, 15 right. years ago. You know, so I'm talking about every time you make a move, you better look both ways before you cross the street. Yeah, like so now that's, that's how, how you live. They bad. see me 10, 15 years from now. I got. What the fuck was that? Did y'all see that shit? I think his video tweaking. Very, very easy to get in. Very, 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 very difficult to get out. Um, and uh, you try to stay as close to your family, man, because they don't the ones that go that count. Stay out the streets. If you're not in it, don't do it, because it's not worth it. I'm just saying this for like the motherfuckers that's watching, like, it, like as a kids and shit, so they can know like. All right, like you probably go, you probably did some shit before. You might, it might feel good on the other side of the trigger, but when you on that other side, that shit ain't no game. It's not fun. It's like I want motherfuckers to know that. So like, as a kids, they won't just be thinking this shit cool, and it might feel good to go shoot at somebody. But when you get shot at, that shit don't feel good, basically. And before we finish, Joe, is there anything that you want to say? Man, stay in school to the kids, man. You feel me? Stay out the way, get some money on, you feel me? And make sure you take care of your family, man. That's it. And watch the motherfuckers you keep around you, because everybody ain't your friend, you hear me? And everybody that you think is cool as shit with you, that you don't do it with sandbox and all that, you feel me? No, ain't always a hundred either, you feel me? And you, as you grow, you feel me? Your circle get, you know what I mean? Small. Take that shit out of it. brother. If you want to jump off, I promise you, you can. You might die the same night. No cap. I don't know if y'all know that. If you jump off the porch, you can die tonight. Night. Yeah. You feel me? They can spend tonight. Put, put, night bop, bop, on. put that it's ass on. on the ground. You can get locked up the rest of your life tonight. 15, 16 charges in a dealt. Go ahead for the rest of your life. You can do it. Cool. You're not going to leave nothing behind. Right. You're going to keep calling home, asking for commissary. Keep going, can you do this? Can you make this move? You're going to be doing that for a long time. But you can do it. But you can do it.